go, you had them on their way to Mexico. Captain. What am I supposed to do about it? now, Reese. You might as well talk to him, Palmer Lee. You ain't doing me no good. <laughs> you look like you've been shot at and hit, Press. I was. Go up in the barracks, Reese. Well, now, that'd be just fine. If I could get past Joe Peavy, he's sitting outside in his buckboard, hopping mad, wanting to know what we're going to do about them Prepton boys. Now, what are we going to do, Captain? Well, what did they do? Peavy says they're overbranding these cows. Oh, uh, tell him we'll look into it. Well, already done that. He wants to know when. Tell him Buckmeister and Watson will be at his place tomorrow. Thank you, Captain. Now, uh, wh wh what about him, Parmer Lee? He's always saying that there ain't nothing that the Rangers can't do. Fact is, there ain't a single Ranger in this state knows how to track at night now, is there, Reese? Well, now, Joe Riley could track a flying bird just by the tracks this dang shadow makes. And that's for sure, Press. Reese? Well, he can, Captain. Remember all them times everybody give up on finding the trail? And old Joe, he, he sniffed it right out. Move out, Reese. Sure, Captain. Be good to yourself, Press. Now, what about Joe Riley? He is the best tracker I've got. And I guess if any man could pick up a trail at night, he's it. All right, Press, I'll send him out. Well, if someone had 2,500 of your gold. Now, wait a minute. I ain't a putting up no reward. No need to. Now get your carcass out of here and go to bed like the doctor ordered, or I'll start charging you rent on that chair. I'll be back in the morning. United States for five degrees, stood the base of the country north of the Red River, and east of the summits of the Big Horn Valley. Howdy. Howdy. Guppy gets his window busted. Wants to jail little Charlie Cresper. Them Crypton boys been burning their brand over Joe Peavy's. And Press Wasco gets held up and shot. Well, if this ain't been a day, I'll let a Mustang kick me in the head. And old Press, he's down there in Parmalee's office chewing up his suspender buttons. Oh, Reese, you know what you are? You're a walking newspaper. Uh... Hey! Hey, what? Do you? Do you know what tomorrow is? Payday is a week from tomorrow. That ain't what I mean. Don't the two of you recollect nothing? It happened four years ago. Four years? Oh, Reese, I wasn't even in Laredo four years ago. Me neither, Reese. Four years ago tomorrow, Captain Parmley took over this company. Don't hardly seem that long, does it, Chad? That ain't the important thing. That's not the important thing at all. Seems to me it was more like three years, Joe. Well, he was here when I got here. Well, that's three years, ain't it? And two months. Captain's been here four years. Hmm. Now, what in the blue blazes difference does that make? Don't it mean nothing to you two that the captain's been well, just Well, now, maybe we ought to jump down off our bunks and fire off a 44 or something, huh? Yeah, or oh, oh, maybe, maybe we could hoop or holler something for you, huh, Reese? Hmm. You think you're about the two funniest wise acres in the state of Texas, don't you? Well, if it was me, that's just what I'd do. Have him a party's what I'd do. Well, why don't you do that, Reese? Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not the only one in the company. Well, shucks, eh, Reese, it wouldn't make no difference to me if I figured the captain ought to have a party. If, if just me and him was the only ones that was there, I'd go ahead and give it. That's right, Reese. Why, why don't you know it's the thought that's the important thing? You ain't got to give me no lessons. Oh, you know what you ought to have there? Them two new girls from the Laredo Saloon to act as the entertainment. We sure keep things lively. Yeah, and champagne. Now, where do I get champagne? Uh, it's a shame we ain't been paid yet, ain't it? Oh, I know what you can do. Go out to old dude Meeker Still, and he'd let you have a couple of gallons of his moonshine on the cuff. You gonna have a cake for the Captain Reese? When I give a party, I don't leave nothing out. Why, well, I'm gonna have him the biggest cake ever was. Where are you going, Reese? Out to see dude about that moonshine. <laughs> Chad and Joe in the barracks? Yep, Captain, that's where they are, up in the barracks. Just kind of resting. They're both up there, sir. Yes, sir. What are you up to, Reese? Who, me? Well, well, nothing, Captain. No, sir, I ain't up to one single solitary thing. And you can bank on that. No, sir, I ain't, Captain. I'm glad to hear that, Reese. 
Go get Chad and Joe. I've got a job for the three of you. Yes, sir, Captain. I know that face from somewhere. Who is he? I don't know. Bet he paid forty dollars for them boots. Keep an eye on him. Well, how can we do that if we have to go ride that East Trail looking for them outlaws that robbed old Press Wasco of his gold? Reese, you stay in town. My pleasure, Captain. And if anything happens, let me know. I surely will, Captain. Well, I guess I handle that right enough, huh? You know, Reese, uh, back where I come from, we used to call that apple polishing. Now, you got another word for it, Joe? Uh, that's good enough. I wasn't polishing no apples. Now, you know, I'm wondering, Joe, if maybe that's the same reason he's so intent on giving the captain an anniversary party. Could be. Well, it ain't. The captain's been a, a good captain for the company, ain't he? Yeah, he has. And ain't he just about the lonesomest man in this whole town? Shucks, I don't know about that. He's got some lady friends I wouldn't mind having myself. True. Well, you can't live by bread itself. He ain't got no, no partners like we have. And he ain't got nobody to have a good scrap with when he gets a feeling like it. Got all the worries and, and none of the good parts of being a ranger. So I, I figured the least we could do is have him a party once a year. Well, he's right, Joe. You're right, Reese. Now, you two looky here just one time. Dude Maker Still is out near the East Trail. So on your way out... Glad to do it, Reese. We'll pick up your three gallons of the best. Here, put it on. Your beer. Well, uh, ain't you two pitching in nothing? No, Reese, is that a nice question to ask? Of course it is. Yeah, I guess it is. I'd say it is. Oh, someday. Someday. Here. I don't know who he was. Hey, where is everybody? It ain't that late. Well, he just walked in here, glanced around a little bit, and started to sit down. And before his britches touched that chair, the place was empty. You know, he is the meanest man I have ever seen in all my life. He gives Seth Markey a look, sobered him up, one, two, three, just like that. You know, Cyril, I ain't never seen old Seth sobered. Well, he's sober now, and you better believe it. Well, you just tell the folks ain't no need to be worrying about that fella. We can handle him. Meantime, tell your cook I want a big cake for tomorrow. About, oh, so big, but so. Chocolate with lots of icing. Can't be did, Reese. Huh? You see, the cook quit right after supper. She found herself a man and run off and got married. Well, who am I going to get to bake that cake for tomorrow? I don't know, Reese. Yeah. Well, anyhow, I'll be needing them two dancing girls you just brought in, oh, for about, uh, about, say, an hour. Can't be did, Reese. Well, now, you ain't gonna tell me they ran off and got married, too. No, but them two are my attractions, and I ain't letting them run off doing working now. I only want them for an hour. 
Can't be did, Reese. Cyril, how many fights you figure you have in here? In a week? Fifteen, maybe twenty, if my business is good. Mm -hmm. Well, the next one comes along, you break it up yourself because I ain't coming to do it for you. That's blackmail, Reese. No, it ain't. Just getting even. That's just as bad. Now, for the last time, Cyril, can I have those two dancing girls tomorrow? All right, all right. You can have them, but the next time there's a fight, you better come a-run instead of walking, or you and me is done being friends. Well, that, uh, that sounds fair enough, Cyril. Hey, would you like a beer or something, Reese? No, oh, no thanks, Cyril. I, uh, I gotta be looking to that fella that just left you. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> Kelly. Mike Kelly. That's how he signed in over to the hotel. I saw his face on a wanted poster, a newspaper, or somewhere. Uh, he at the hotel now? Yeah, yeah. Got a room on the second floor at the front. All right, you take the East Trail. If Joe and Chad haven't picked up any tracks, tell them to come on in, get some sleep, get a fresh start in the morning. Well, uh, uh, maybe we ought to let him keep looking for a while, Captain. Outdoors is good for him. All that fresh air and everything. Reese. Yes, sir, Captain. Oh, uh, Captain. Yeah? Uh, uh Cyril over at the Laredo Saloon, he, uh, he lost his cook. And, uh, he was wondering if you knew anybody might, might fill in till he got another. I want somebody that bakes a good chocolate cake. Well, not right off, but if I think of somebody, I'll tell him. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of important, Captain. I mean, for Cyril, that is. If I think of somebody, I'll tell him. Got to be able to make a good cake, Captain. All right, Reese, now move out. Sure, Captain. Don't forget now about that cook. Reese. Evening, Captain. Joe's the only one can track at night. Yeah, I could, I could be back getting things ready for the captain's party. And what am I doing instead, huh? Nothing. I would just have to sit here and wait till sunup. Might as well rest yourself, Cactus. We got about three hours with first light. Or Apache never found those tracks at night, but you had to find them. Captain sent me out to call you in just in case you missed them. We could have had all night to work on the party. I can't help having a good eye, Reese. Well, I could have by Hannah's hat. Uh, how's the party shaping up, Reese? Well, everything would have been just fine if I could have stayed in town. I got, I got those two dancing girls off of Cyril at the saloon. Well, good. Did you get the whiskey? Yeah, I'd be ready for us to pick up on the way back. Oh, good. That's just fine and dandy. We got to thinking on it, Reese, so we got us four gallons. Yeah, gonna be some party. What kind of cake'd you get? Well, I, uh, I didn't get no kind. The cook at the Laredo quit and got married. And I can't think of a, a blessed soul I can get to do it for me. None of the ladies I know are, are much for cooking or nothing. Well, looks like you're gonna have to bake it yourself, Reese. He can't bake a I cake, sure Chad. Well, even if I could, I wouldn't. Not with you two. Wouldn't give me one single minute's peace. Be hoorah on me day and night. Shucks, it ain't gonna be much of a party without a cake. You know, that's a, that's a pure gospel. You're just gonna have to forget the whole thing, Reese. Well, I ain't give up yet. 
We'll have that cake one how or another, and that's for sure. If Reese says it like that, it's got to be true. No, I ain't gonna believe it until I see it. This way, they probably reached the border by now. Let's get back to town. Uh, Reese, the trail's still hot. Let's stick with it. You heard him, Reese. Trail hot. Let's go. Sounds like three guns. That's what I figure. See anything? Not a blamed thing. Up there! Only two fire now. Let's go get them. It ain't gonna take all three of us, Reese. Oh, that's right, Reese. Why don't you head on back to Laredo and crank things up for that party? You've been itching to get on back anyway. Joe and I can handle this without you. No, oh, I leave you two alone. You're just likely to get yourselves all shot up. And them, them no goods would be off and on their way to Mexico. You're always saying how you're tempted to go off and leave us on our own. Well, now's your chance, pard. I think I know what it is, Joe. Reese is afraid he won't be able to come up with that cake, so he wants to stay here. And have yourself a good excuse. That must be it, Chad. Ain't no such a thing. Well, Reese, I got $10 says that even if you leave right now, you won't come up with a cake. I'll take that bet. Done. And I'll be wanting cash and not promises needed. Take off. I'll go at him from up on the high ground. It'd be easier if we just move in from the front. Well, you do want to get back to Laredo in one chunk, don't you, Chad? All right, I'll go around here. Slow and easy. Give me a chance to get into place. Joe, you're talking like there's 20 of them. There's only two. It only takes one of them to shoot you, Chad. You draw their fire. I'll go out this way. might mention that I'm looking for one, okay? Yeah. Yeah, sure, Cyril. I'll do that. Thank you. Hey, Sam! Is that you, Reese? Yeah, it is. 
I'm kind of busy back here, Reese. Just help yourself, and I'll collect later. Well, uh, Sam, I was wondering if, uh, Sam? I can hear you fine, Reese. Well, uh, I was wondering if maybe, uh, maybe if your missus could, uh, bake me a cake. She's gone off to her sister's. Won't be back for a week or more. No, oh, well, all right, Sam. Say, Sam. No, I'm still here. You know what kind of stuff goes into a cake? I see reason to. <clears throat> Captain Parmalee, sir. Oh, Yo, Chad, you, uh, you find any tracks? No. Caught up with three of them, sir. There's about, uh, 1,500 here, sir. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't more than six miles from town. We caught up with them. They were just going around in a circle, heading back to the Rio. Press said there were, uh, six of them. Well, according to the three we just locked up, Captain, the other three are gonna meet him in Mexico. All right, write up a report. All right. Oh, one more thing. Uh, does the name Mike Kelly mean anything to either one of you? No, I don't think so. Well, it seems to me, sir, I... Uh... Well, I can't be sure, Captain. Who is he, Captain? Uh, he's that fellow that rode in last night, signed the hotel register, Mike Kelly. Now, there's something about him that sticks in my mind. Uh, if you remember anything, Joe, let me know, will you? Sure will, Captain. so you don't get that stuff all over you? Never mind all that. I ain't got time for your funny little sayings. Hey, you got some eggshells in there. Well, I'll just see to it that you get the piece that has them in them. You never did think it'd see the day. <laughs> well, if you keep jawing, you're gonna see it out of two black eyes. You know, I don't hardly think this bowl is gonna be big enough for all this reason. Yeah. Well, you two just go off someplace and leave me be. Reese, we're just trying to offer a couple of suggestions. Well, let's see offer you a suggestion. Reese, I never did see a man rile as easy as you. Did you, Joe? No, not hardly, Chad. Whew. Well, Reese, now, where are, you, where are you gonna cook this thing? In the stove over at the Laredo Saloon. And between all this running off at the mouth, one of you better tell me he stopped off and brung the whiskey. Now, would we forget a thing like that? Not hardly. Oh, we wouldn't let you down, Reese. Uh, you asked us to get the whiskey, and we, we got it. Oh, by the way, old dude Meeker told me to tell you that come payday, you owe him eight dollars. No. All right, Joe, uh, you give Reese a hand there, will you? I'll be back later. Good luck. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to have myself some breakfast with a young lady friend of my acquaintance. See ya. The 
Hey, Joe, you, uh, you figure this bowl ain't big enough. Well, it sure don't look like it, Reese. Well, here. Um. I want to talk to you, Parmalee. We uh, got your money back, Press. Oh, well, good, good. <laughs> All 4,000 of it? No, Press. Now, how much did they take from you? Exactly how much? Well, I just told you, $4,000. You ain't accusing me of being a liar, are you, Parmalee? Now, every time you mention a gold, you raise the figure. It started out at 2,000. Well, I wasn't thinking clear. We got back 1,500. I'll take it. Joe, you can't be using that knife. That's for sticking people. Well, I washed it off. How much flour does it say in that paper, Joe? Well, I can't tell if it's a five or a two. You slop so much junk on it here. A two or a five what? Well, I don't know. There's flour and then that there number I can't read. Well, this uh, feels like it weighs about five pounds. Well, this looks like a five. Oh, it, it, it's a two. Uh, I'll tell you true, Joe. I don't know how women can do this every day. Make it cakes and pies and bread and all them things. Well, I guess it's kind of like riding, isn't it, Reese? The more you do of it, the easier it gets. Well, I'll tell you, I get my hands on that fella. Ran away with that cook from the Laredo Salon. I'll break his back. Reese, how many, how many more of these vanilla beans you think I ought to scrape? Well, you better use them all. Sam wasn't too sure about that part of it. Yeah. Took you long enough to look me up, Armelie. The name, Kelly, kind of threw me. When I knew you, it was Fallon. We're a long way from El Paso. A lot of years. More than five. Now that I've done my time, you're gonna let me be, right? There are no posters on you. There's no reason for me to do anything else. Well, we've got something to settle, you and me. That's the past. Remember how it was? Me and Merzel hit the bank. You caught me coming down the alley. 
Then you put a bullet in me. Low in the left shoulder. The shot went high, it should have killed you. But you got me smack in the middle. Didn't miss killing me more than half an inch. What do you want in Laredo? Find out which one of us should really be alive. Couldn't think of nothing else these long five years. I won't draw against you, Kelly. And I don't think you'll shoot me down. No. That wouldn't prove a thing. This has got to be you and me. It won't ever happen. What time is it, barkeep? Uh, 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 10.15. Quarter past. All right, Parmalee. I'll give you an hour to get yourself ready. Quarter after 11, out in the street. I told you before, it won't ever happen. If it ain't quarter past 11 today, it'll be quarter past 11 tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'll take on all comers and I'll let them clear their holsters before I make a move. You've got a lot of prideful men in the Rangers. They'll go first. You're going to cause a lot of people a lot of grief if you ain't out there in an hour. cake to me. Well, it ain't been baked yet. Well, it still don't look like no cake to me. <laughs> you figure we was born yesterday, Chad. Well, I'm telling you that that Kelly fella called the captain out. Well, what do you reckon we're supposed to do now, Reese, that he's told us? Grab our hats and go charging down to see the captain about it. And give him time maybe to sprinkle some pepper or something in the cake. And get his three days stable duty into the bargain. We ain't that dumb, Chad. Every word I've been telling you is the truth. Sure, sure it is, Chad. Now, why don't you go on back and think up another, huh? Oh. Look, if you two fellas don't want to believe me, why don't you stick your head out that window and ask somebody in the street? Mm, sure, and get laughed at like the jackass I'd be for doing it. Oh, that was a good try, Chad. All right, you two just stay here and bake your cake, and I'll see if I can do something to stop this thing myself. Go ahead, bake your cake. <laughs> <laughs> he sure don't like it, none, when one of his schemes don't turn out like he figured, does he? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joe. Huh? What if he ain't joking? Oh, he's got to be. How come? Well, Reese, it's his kind of joke, and you... And on the other hand, maybe he ain't. We better go see for sure. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna leave this cake here for him to sneak in and mess up, I'll tell you that. Well, you sure can't go walking down the street carrying a bucket full of cake, can you, Reese? Yeah, well, uh, I'll hide it. That's what I'll do, I'll hide it. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put a lid on it and put it in a rain barrel. All right, let's go. How fast is he? I don't know. Chad here come up to barracks and told us Kelly called you out. Oh, <laughs> always joking, ain't he, Captain? <laughs> Not this time. You mean he really did call you out, sir? And whether I go or not, I want the three of you to stay out of it. Well, uh, ain't he wanted for something someplace? We could lock him up and then he'd be out of the way. Reese. Well, it ain't right him calling you out. Today in particular. One day is the same as another. There is no right day for a gunfight. 
Captain, them's the truest words I ever heard. And after hearing them, well, sir, if it was me, I just plain wouldn't have nothing to do with it. No, sir, Captain. Right is right, and you're right. Right, 100%. Yes, sir, Captain. Reese, if it was you he called out, you'd be out in the street waiting for him right now. We both know it. Well, now, I ain't so sure, Captain. I am. Now, to be on the safe side, I think we ought to pass the word, keep everybody off the street, away from windows. I don't want anybody hit with a stray bullet. Go pass the word. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what time are you meeting him, Captain? Quarter after 11. Now, where's he awaiting? Laredo Saloon. Well, he can't be too smart, sir. He's letting you have the sun at your back. Maybe he's so good it don't matter to him where the sun is. I, uh, guess I said a dumb thing. Uh, huh? Come on, Reese. Well, maybe he just won't meet him at all. Sure he will. Just like you would or I would. He ain't got no choice. Ranger can't back down, because if he does, he hurts all the rangers. That's right. He's got no choice at all. Well, what are we going to do about it? Well, I guess we'll just have to hope that Parma leaves faster than he is. Well, that ain't much to be doing. Well, not taking anything away from the captain, but a man that looks as mean as Kelly's got to be fastest to stay alive. Well, I'm going to do something. That Kelly will have to step over me to get to the captain. Reese, would you want anybody butting in in your fights? Well, if I was stuck behind a desk for four long years, I might not want it, but I'd sure need it. The captain doesn't get out on assignments much. And being just a little bit rusty's all it takes. That's all it takes. Captain's a dead ranger he walks out in that street. And that's a pure gospel. Well, you two could just stand here, but I ain't. No, for once he's right. We well, better tag along, Chad. Reese! Ain't no use of talking. I ain't gonna let that Reese, captain come out. what do you plan on doing? Call him out. Well, what about the captain? What about him? Reese, you're only gonna leave him one thing left to think, and that's we got no faith in him. Well, I got faith in him, all right. It's his draw I got my doubts about. It ain't no good, Reese. It's no good stepping between them. It ain't, Reese. The thing we have to do is talk Kelly out of it. He knows if he guns down the captain, he's gonna have us to face, one at a time. Now you know we can't talk no gunfighter out of a fight he's already said he's going into. Now that depends, Reese, on what you say and how you say it. Let's go. Sure is a cool 180. Yeah, he looks it. Looking ain't been. That's right. Yeah, that is right. Hey, Reese. Uh-huh. You gave up that idea of yours, didn't you? What idea? Oh, about shooting that fella down from behind? What did folks say? Well, I yeah, don't say no. go on about it, Reese. Back shooting a man never was a way to settle anything. Sure works, Aphasia. Yeah, but you wouldn't even do that to a snake. Well, you don't let a rattlesnake get the first bite, do you? Give him a chance to, to, to dig his teeth into your leg? You get him first. Well, now that's true enough, Reese. But shooting a man down. He ain't from no behind. man, he's a snake. I can't argue that. Of course you can't, because what I said is true. I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it is. All right, then. Don't argue with me none.
know, I've been thinking, Reese. I'm with you. I figure if anybody guns him down, ought to be me. Was my idea. All three of us, then. That's fair enough. Well, then. Uh, all right. Stay there. What time you got, Killy? That's 14 after. Gun him down from behind, are you? Only just in the foot or something. You can't do that, Reese. Put it away. It's your fight to make, Kelly. Start whenever you're ready. I'll count three, and we go. Done. One.
just gotta shake your hand. Oh, what you done this morning. Captain, that's what I call raging. I ain't never seen the like of it. And it ain't likely I ever will again, either. Reese, did you have anything Oh, to... you was a sight to behold, Captain. A genuine sight to behold. Reese, could we have run that Kelly off? Huh? No, sir, Reese. And you can stake your morning hash on that, no mistake. Oh, what you done to him, Captain. Look at him dead in the eye. You stared him right down into the ground. That's what you done. That's the truth, uh, Captain. Reese did... Oh, and there he was, mean and ornery looking. Looking as, as old Lucifer himself, that Kelly. And there you was. Oh, Captain, there you are. Just, just a looking at him. Never turning a hair. Cool as ice. And, and telling him to turn around and, and ride out. Ride out, just like that. Tell him without saying one word. Oh, Captain, you was something. You was just really something. All right. Now, the, the three of you. Uh, Captain, we got something outside we'd like to show you. <clears throat> Captain, all of the men of the company take it a genuine honor to be working with you. Now, if you just stand there one minute while we go out and get something, huh? One minute. Uh, oh. Happy anniversary, Captain. Four years today. Tomorrow, Reese. Tomorrow? Good now. That can't be. Captain, do you mind if if we have the party a day early? <laughs> 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 